Hello and welcome to all my Mariner friends. Let's discuss Hong Kong Convention 2009. I will also explain a few exam related question. International Convention for the Safe and Environmentally Sound Recycling of Ships 2009. Entry into force 24 months after the ratification by 15 states representing 40% of the world merchant shipping by gross tonnage. Combined maximum annual ship recycling volume not less than 3% of their combined tonnage. Adopted in a diplomatic conference held in Hong Kong in May 2009. Developed due to control of transboundary movement of hazardous waste and their disposal. They intended to address all the issues around ship recycling, including the fact that ships sold for scrapping may contain environmentally hazardous substances and others. Aim of Hong Kong Convention When getting recycled at the end of her life, do not pose any unnecessary risk to human health and safety or to the environment. Regulation in the new convention covers the design, construction, operation and preparation of ships so as to facilitate safe and environmentally sound recycling without compromising the safety and operational efficiency of ships. The inventory of hazardous material is a list of hazardous materials that are present on a ship. The IHM identifies and locates hazardous materials on board ships which are known to represent a potential hazard to people and the environment. For assuring a safe and environmentally friendly handling of these materials, detailed documentation of those materials in the ship's structure and equipment and in stores is essential. The IHM consists of three parts. Part 1 – Hazardous materials contained in the ship's structure and equipment asbestos, odds, polychlorinated bipnils, cadmium, lead, mercury, radioactive substance, antifouling compounds. Part 2 – Operationally generated wastes. Part 3 – Stores. The IHM Part 1 is prepared either during the construction of the ship or while the vessel is in operation. It is maintained and kept up to date until the end of the ship's life. IHM Preparation for New Ships For new building projects, the IHM Part 1 is prepared by the shipyard. The IHM is based on material declarations and the supplier's declaration of conformity provided for all machinery, equipment, and materials, and coatings installed on board a vessel. The material declaration and supplier declaration of conformity contain information on whether hazardous materials, as listed in Annexes 1 and 2 of the European Ship Recycling Rules, or Appendixes 1 and 2 of the HKC, are present in the specified products. New ships flying the flag of an EU EO member state are required to have on board an IHM certificate issued on behalf of the flag starting from the 31st of December 2018. Have a look on this flow chart you can easily understand how the process of ship resealing is done and then you can also frame your answer for the same. Step by step process of ship approval for recycling. Next question is. How will I fill the IHM form part 1? You should say. I will call the hazemat company. They arrange a hazemat expert. He takes the samples from your vessel, as directed by ship staff, and their help too. Basis of which, he gives you a certification, which consists of all hazardous materials, on board. If yard delivery then given by yard itself IHM part 1. Next question, your company decided to recycle the vessel, on which you are the chief engineer? How shall you prepare the ship? for recycling under the Hong Kong Convention. IHM Part 1 Check and Update, Part 2 and 3 to update and plan for discharge, ensure bilge and sludge, cleaning and preparing of tank. Then send three parts to SRF for SR plan, surveyor will approve, 
after checking IHM part 1, 2, 3 and then issue international ready for, recycle certificate, which is validity 3 months. All statutory certificates to be submitted to RO, then RO issue one single voyage certificate, till port of recycling, DRA policy means decommissioning all risk policies issued till SRF. India acceded to the convention. The treaty will enter into force, 24 months after, three separate criteria have been met. It must be ratified by 15 states, but these states, must represent 40% of world merchant shipping, by gross tonnage, and a combined maximum, annual ship recycling volume of not less than 3%, of their combined gross tonnage. With India's accession, the number of states required has now been reached, but further tonnage, and recycling volumes, are needed before the convention can enter into force. India Implementation In the Indian context, environmental concerns, against ship breaking were publicly raised, for the first time when two heavily toxic, French vessels were sent to India, for dismantling. The Supreme Court recognized that precautionary, and polluter pay principles, were part of Indian law but permitted, only one ship, the Blue Lady, to be dismantled in Alang. However, the Supreme Court directed, the authorities to frame legislation for environmentally safe dismantling of ships. A ship breaking code was accordingly formulated in 2013. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I will be adding more videos related to Indian examination. Please feel free to ask more questions in comment box.